Like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below. The CCSA has announced the national news that 18,501 cases have been reported around the nation within a 24-hour period, yet another drop in numbers from the previous highs. In the same period, 20,606 people were released from care, having recovered from the virus and been released from quarantine. Sadly, 229 more deaths have been recorded around the country attributed to the virus. A court has authorised arrest warrants for seven policemen in Nakhon Sawan on charges of torture leading to the death of a man held in custody there whose suffocation with plastic bags was caught on CCTV. The seven, which include a senior police colonel, have already been removed from their posts and with some already arrested as searches on for the colonel himself, who may have fled the country despite advisories to immigration officers on regular borders to apprehend him. Nicknamed Joe Ferrari, despite his salary of perhaps 40 to 50,000 baht a month, he'd amassed a fleet of high priced cars and, in addition to his local home, owns a luxury villa in the capital, complete with swimming pool on five rye of valuable land. The 24 year old drug runner died in the station but saw a death certificate issued stating cause of death as overdose from drugs. Now, the hospital authority which issued that certificate claims that it was an initial certificate which enabled his funeral and not a final version. They also claim to be awaiting full toxicology reports, despite the man having died some 20 days ago. Meanwhile, no word on who cut and pasted and saved the CCTV clip, but for sure it was someone working in the police station, and it was released, we're told, to social media by a lawyer. Either way, the case highlights the high life and the Teflon status, of those few rotten apples in the police force, and it's likely to lead to a nationwide review of assets versus income for many. The vaccine programme has been extended for ties to anyone over the age of 18, and will see the use of Sinovac along with AstraZeneca in series for treatment of all. Children aged 12 to 18 with pre-existing conditions, along with pregnant women, will receive Pfizer. Good news for expats, we can only recommend the one easy-to-use and functioning website, and that's thailandintervac.com, where the programme, as we predicted on Monday, has been extended to any non-Thai over the age of just 40, along with pregnant women and the infirm. The reduction in age from 60 to 40 is expected to see a rush on appointments, and it's best to get in early. Vaccinations such as the Oxford, AstraZeneca and Pfizer are being offered for free from various locations in the dark red zones, including Patia. And with the reminder, they can only be booked via the website. You cannot simply turn up and get them. The Prime Minister's office has seen an about turn on an order for the antigen test kits to be made available here en masse. Previously, they'd stated that they had to be only ones approved by the much beleaguered WHO. That's as it emerges that the WHO has never approved any home test kits. But as bids arrive here, it's possible that the make approved will be the same as used in Europe and the US and not a Chinese version. But none have been finally approved to date. This is test kits are available from most pharmacies here already, albeit of perhaps Chinese manufacture. Pharmacists who offer the tests are also being notified to prefer advice to customers that home isolation is ideal if only showing little or no symptoms of the virus but failing the tests. Good advice for sure, but of course in many cases then they won't be listed as having the virus or adding to the national Covid count. In other news, a Nigerian man and his local wife have been nabbed in the capital after 9 kilograms of crystal meth was discovered in what was described as a suspicious package being mailed to Hong Kong. Pretty much a closed case. The man's fingerprints were found on the parcel. The woman had posted it and the raid on their home revealed a stash of cocaine with a street value of over a million baht. And Phuket's Bangla Road saw bars open again last night, at least ten bars ignoring laws on the island introduced to prevent the sale of booze for consumption on site. It was party on until late for many expats and Thais, and has seen the speedy return of the ladies of the night to the island's walking street area. No word from the governor's office or local police, who were both keenly aware of the openings. Meanwhile, at home and in our own province, the provincial office reported this morning, Thursday, 
a further 973 new COVID cases. 251 in Si Rachar, 234 in Chambury City, 151 in Banglamung, which includes Pattaya, and the balance around the province. 15 new deaths associated with the virus have been reported. Pattaya yesterday and today once again saw the mass vaccination programmes operating at the indoor sports stadium, mainly for Thai nationals. By 6.15 this morning, people had already begun to arrive in the hope of avoiding long queues. Cars, bikes and even coaches have been used by those wanting the vaccines here, and by 10 o'clock we expect the traffic once again to be well backed up. However, supplies, we're told, are well keeping up with demand. And with the Met Office promising highs today of 32, dropping down to 28, an overcast day with a good chance of rain at some time. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or programme.